more week to get out to vote. A Governor Greg Abbott brought his reelection campaign to North Texas earlier today. Political reporter Jack Fink spoke with him about his vision for the future. Governor Greg Abbott is running on his record. Our unemployment rate is at an all-time low, and the, the Texas gross domestic product, which is the way you measure our economy, we have the fastest growing economy in the entire United States of America. The governor wants to limit property tax increases and has pledged the state will spend more of its money to pay for public schools and rely less on property taxes. One source of money he'd like to tap into is additional severance tax revenues coming from oil and gas production in the Permian Basin. It is an additional $1 billion per year. My recommendation to the legislature is that we take that money, put that money into paying our teachers more. While Texas Democrats have urged eliminating what they call a $5 billion loophole that allows large commercial property owners to sue county property appraisal districts, so they can lower their tax bills, the governor says it's not that simple. The amount they're claiming is highly overinflated. It wouldn't add up to $5 billion. And then on top of that, if these property owners that own these buildings, if their property taxes go up, they will be charging more to their tenants. Governor Abbott also campaigns hard for one of the top issues for Republican voters. I have uh, put on the border more than a thousand National Guard members to help secure our border. He is traveling across Texas, including the DFW area, helping Republicans down ballot to spread their message. This is election is about a contrast. This election is about far different visions for what the future of Texas looks like. And the governor is able to help other Republicans because he's ahead of Democrat Lupe Valdez in the polls by 14 to 19 points. Live in Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Jack, thank you so much. And worth mentioning, as we just talked to Jack, he is going to be hosting a Facebook Live conversation tomorrow to reveal, first of all, the results of our whole new poll we got in. This is looking at key races in our state, races that matter to you. All you got to do is like CBS DFW on Facebook. That way you'll get an alert and you can jump in on the conversation with us. We'll get underway with Jack at 1.30 tomorrow.